The band plays the flags wave. The dignitaries gather with a big ribbon-cutting scissors, befitting the big hole right behind them. It's a long way down, 285 feet to the base of the McCook Quarry, which will now become a reservoir for flood water. It's the latest addition to what's called TARP, the Tunnel and Reservoir Plan, the massive flood and pollution relief effort started over four decades ago by the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. It doesn't solve all the problems, but it helps alleviate some of it, take some of the burden off. This becomes something of a giant relief bathtub. Connected to the deep tunnel system, it'll handle up to 3.5 billion gallons of water, much of it from combined storm and sanitary sewers, the foul-smelling stuff that quite often navigates an unwelcome path into basements. This definitely helps. That's a lot of water that we're moving from in and around the homes of this district over into this pit. Like the Thornton Reservoir that began taking south suburban flood water two years ago, its new sister in McCook is meant to lessen those heavy rain floods that fill streets and basements. It won't eliminate flooding, but it's designed to significantly reduce it. This will provide the most benefit for the those long duration storms that, you know, it rains for three days straight. This, this is That's the kind of storm that this thing is perfect for. This is phase one of this project. The plan, 12 years down the road, is to use an adjacent quarry to expand the capacity. This is the second quarry still being limestone mined. If it wins funding, the big three and a half billion gallon bathtub will nearly triple in size. And that is most definitely cause for a band encore and an even bigger pair of scissors. In McCook, 